All right, today's video is going to be about how to inspect a Volvo Red Block that you're looking to rebuild. We always get people saying that their engine's in great shape, it's a turbo engine, but it's low miles or it's been taken care of and they swear it's in good shape and bring it to us as a core and think that we're trying to sell them something or have ulterior motives when their block is just plain worn out. The field inspection that we do for these is you want to just look in the bores here and the usual scenario is that the bore is excessively worn. In this case, this block is pretty average of a turbo block so you know there's still some cross hatching in there it, it looks pretty good but it, it, it's not so the first thing we do is we clean the bore up a little bit spray a little brake clean in there get in there with a scotch bright and clean the carbon off now you can start to see where there is a, a ring here and uh, the field test that I do is if you can just take your fingernail and run it up the bore if it catches on that lip there. Uh, the block is worn beyond what we can fix. The stock bore is 96 millimeters. Volvo doesn't suggest over 96 and a half millimeters for a turbo bore. And uh, if you can feel a lip there at all, it, it won't clean up at 96 and a half. You'll have to go at least 97, which you can do on a non-turbo, but it isn't a good idea, especially when we're double or tripling the factory output of these things. Uh, we want as much meat there as we can get. The non-turbo blocks tend to hold up quite a bit better than this. They don't get nearly the bore ridge. Really a turbo block, I haven't seen one in a while that'll clean up at 96 and a half. Up until recently we were just suggesting that customers get non-turbo blocks but they're getting harder to come by and even some of those are coming in with excessive wear so our normal operating procedure now is just to sleeve the block that lets us get back down to a 96 millimeter bore uh, and gives us a little more meat than a normal rebuild would have anyways. The next most common thing that we see is, is motors that have been sitting for a while. This one looks pretty good, but some of them end up with some water in there and you would think, oh, you know, the, the famous line is it's just surface rust. Well, if that surface rust doesn't clean up in a half millimeter, uh, you know, even if there's one pit in the thing. It's not a motor that I'd want to send out of my shop. So, uh, you know, once again, the rust will get it down to where we just end up having to sleeve it. These blocks, I don't really ever see problems with cracking or any of this. People want their blocks magged or whatever. And I really haven't seen um, one of these blocks cracked that didn't have obvious trauma to it. Uh, the next, you know, failure point of these things is um, people run them with a blown head gasket for a long time or um, corrosion coming out between the block. Uh, again, this block's pretty good, but some bad blocks, you'll see some corrosion around these ports here. And, you know, most of the time it can be fixed with just a, a deck on the block, but sometimes, you know, that won't even do it. And, and at this point, it's just easier just to get a, a block that's in better shape. That's pretty much all that I got on blocks. I, I guess the other common thing is, you know, squirter block or not squirter block. Uh, in my experience, I haven't noticed much difference with the squirters or not. I assume keep some oil capacity and not squirt it at the bottom of the pistons if you don't need to. Um, everything we build has a, a nice modern performance piston in it and, you know, just doesn't uh, require the cooling. You know, some people, they can't sleep at night unless they have oil squirters. They read it on the internet somewhere, so you know, we're happy to set you up with that. Personally, not not my ideal. The ideal blocks that we like are, you know, 89 or newer B230. Uh, I'd prefer an F block or, you know, just because they're generally in better shape. But if we're on the sleeving program anyways, a FT block is no different. Um, everything we do is going to have upgraded rods and pistons in it. We, we don't sell anything stock. If you're Doing it, you know, a budget garage build, you'll want the bigger 13 millimeter rods out of the 90 plus. Um, you know, if, if you wanted a set of those rods and um, you're a budget minded kind of individual, shoot us an email. We might be able to get you a set of rods for free or cheap, you know, if your build happens to be nine millimeter. But uh, everything else that we do is our forged HPM rods. That's pretty much all that there is to really show with core B230F FT blocks.
you know, the big thing is just your bore wear. If uh, the bores are worn, then, you know, the classic Volvo piston slap. That is basically it for Red Block Cores. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Thank you.